Hey, welcome back. I'm Kelly, and today we're excited to be here in our new supply store that opened in May 2024. We're offering homeowners and professionals the widest selection of high-quality solar components in the industry. Interested in seeing our products firsthand or need something to complete your system? Come visit us. We're here to help. Today, straight from our store, we're excited to showcase the EG4 wall mount indoor 280 amp hour lithium battery. It's tailor made for those who need a reliable energy storage solution inside their homes or businesses. Let's dive in to see what makes this battery a standout choice. The EG4 wall mount isn't just any battery. The EG4 wall mount is the latest in energy storage innovation designed specifically for indoor use. While it's optimized for indoor environments, it doesn't compromise on the robust features that EG4 is known for. Each indoor battery is going to come securely packaged with a mounting bracket attached to the back, six concrete expansion bolts, one battery to inverter communication cable, two 39.4 inch 2 watt red power cables, and two 39.4 inch black power cables, each with quick connect ends on one end and insulated ends for connecting to your inverter on the other. Now I've also attached the appropriate lugs to the ends of these power cables, which are suited for our inverter. I've also prepared another set of cables with Dexon quick connect ends for paralleling another battery using the extra set since they weren't needed for our current setup. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming tutorial on how to attach your own lugs and Dexon connectors to your battery cables. If using a 6000 XP for your setup like we are today, this could be the most cost-effective solution for you. Weighing in at 282 pounds, this unit is sturdy yet compact. With dimensions that make it ideal for indoor setups, with the battery terminals now on top rather than on the side, along with the ID selector and connections, multiple batteries can now be put closer together so you have more power in less space. This design change not only optimizes accessibility, leaving only one battery breaker and power button on the side, but also plays a role in the unit's compactness. With the new conduit box configuration that matches, these batteries can now be placed as close as seven inches compared to 12 inches with the previous outdoor models. This means you can pack more power in less space. This model is designed exclusively for indoor use with an IP20 rating differing from its outdoor rated predecessor. Despite this, its integrated self-heating features help to maintain optimal performance in cold conditions. This ensures reliable year-round power, ideal for installations in cooler climates or spaces without precise temperature control. Now, here's something that will really catch your attention. Despite its advanced features, this model is actually more cost-effective than many server rack batteries and other 48 volt batteries on the market. It provides the same extensive feature set as the PowerPro outdoor rated models, but at a lower price point. The EG4 wall mount comes equipped with a built-in 200 amp battery management system, or BMS, which ensures that each cell operates within its safety parameters, enhancing the battery's overall lifespan and efficiency. Additionally, the integrated 600 amp bus bars allow for multiple connections without the need for external bus bars, simplifying installations and enhancing electrical safety. Now, let's talk about expanding your system. The EG4 wall mount supports a flexible installation scheme. In general, the internal bus bars will support up to three batteries per inverter. When paralleling multiple wall mount indoor batteries, a paralleling kit will need to be purchased to ensure that you have the correct cables to complete the process. There are multiple wiring configurations for inverters that are connected in parallel and managing expanded batteries through closed loop communication. These are only limited by the number of terminals on the bus bar. The internal bus bars are a straightforward way to significantly increase your energy capacity. However, for larger setups, I recommend checking the manual for your specific system requirements to determine if an external fuse bus bar will be needed. Today, we'll show you how to connect two EG4 indoor wall mount batteries in parallel and provide a sneak peek at what a full system setup can look like. We'll achieve a sleek and seamless integration using the optional conduit box that perfectly matches the EG4 inverters. Everything will be connected to an EG4 6000 XP and we'll set up closed loop communication. The demonstration will offer valuable insights to help you get started on your own system setup. Let's get started. 
We've already secured one battery with a conduit box and a 6K together here. If you would like to learn more about the EG4 6000 XP, feel free to check out our previous video linked in the description. Getting all these things secure is pretty straightforward. Once your battery is secured to the wall, the conduit box can be attached to the battery with the four included screws. Since we're going to be making parallel connections, we need to remove one of these knockouts on the side for our battery cables to be routed through. This is a temporary setup for us, but typically you would install cable glands or grommets to protect your wires as they were routed through these holes. I'll go ahead and, and place a grommet here to protect our cables. When installing your 6K, the most important thing is to be sure that your knockouts on the bottom of your inverter line up with the knockouts on the bottom of your conduit box. Otherwise, putting the bolts in is pretty easy. Next, and maybe most important, we need to make sure our system is grounded before making any connections. So let's go ahead and attach a grounding wire to our ground screw on the top of our battery, route it up through our conduit box, and secure it at the PE bus bar in the inverter. Now we're ready to make the rest of our connections. Let's show you how to install two of these batteries in parallel. It's a straightforward process, and by following these steps, you'll maximize both the performance and the efficiency of your energy storage system. First, let's ensure that all the breakers are off. Align the batteries side by side, maintaining a seven inch gap. Set the dip switch on the master battery to address one, the first switch is in the off position, which is down, all others which will be on, which is in the up position. So down in the first position, all others up. So down, up, 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 up. All others should be in differing addresses going in ascending order. So we'll talk about this next one next. Once all the ID addresses have been set, we'll reset the battery BMS by pressing the power button to register the address change. Then run your communication cable from the first battery com port of the second battery to the second battery com port on your master battery. The battery designated as your master with its ID set to address number one will be directly connected to the inverter. Depending on your inverter model, you can choose between CAN or RS-485 communication protocols. For the 6000 XP, we'll use CAN. We'll connect the communication cable from the CAN port on the master battery to the communication port on the inverter. Next, we will parallel our batteries. We'll connect the positive terminal of the first battery to the positive terminal of the second and repeat for the negative terminals using the bus bars provided. These quick connect ends make the connections easy. When you hear the click, you're good to go. Now we need to insert our battery cables onto the board of our inverter and torque to specs. Based on the inverter you are using, you will have to decide and apply your own battery lugs for this two odd cable. As we stated earlier, we have already applied our lugs. So let's connect our red to our positive battery terminal and our black to our negative battery terminal. We'll need to torque to 97 to 106 inch pounds or eight to nine foot pounds. Always double check the polarities of all connections before turning anything on. Once checked, we can power this thing on. We'll first flip the battery breakers to the on position on the inverter and press its power button. Then flip the breakers to the on position on the batteries one at a time, pressing their power button. One of my favorite features is right here, the onboard LCD touchscreen. It provides real-time monitoring of the battery management system and can communicate with a wide range of inverters, obviously including EG4, as well as others like Solar, Victron, and more. Now that we're connected, let's take a closer look at what information we can see on this beautiful LCD screen. This LCD screen is very clean and easy to read, and the touch screen is pretty responsive. So on the main screen at the top right, we have the date and time, and then we've got some other selections. It tells us that we're currently in standby mode, we can see which uh, battery that we are looking at. We can see the protocols that we have here. Um, we have the CAN protocol here, the RS-485 here. Uh, we can see our voltage, we can see our amp hours, we can see our current amps, and then we have our setting screen. We also can see our state of charge here in the center. It says we're at 55% state of charge. If we click on the setting screen, we have a whole lot more options. We can go into the CAN settings and the password for CAN and RS-45 is always one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's our protocol. We have an 
6000 XP, which is the EG4 Lux. So we'll select EG4 Lux. But you can see we have many more. We can scroll up or down. We'll click back. If we wanted to set RS485, we could set that here. And again, the password would be 123456. Hit the check mark. And again, we have EG4, Growatt, or Schneider. We have EG4, so we would select that and click the back arrow. We also have language that we could select. We have English or Spanish on this one. We're gonna use English for today, but Spanish is a good option there. We can see the version of the BMS that we have and the LCD screen for our firmware versions. So if we go into voltage, we can see uh, what voltage that each cell is operating. And if we go into the temperature, we can see the temperature uh, for the four sensors. If we go back, we're back to our screen, and I like really like the way that it's nice and clean. We have an alarm light. If it is red, that means that we have an alarm that something is wrong that we need to check on. We have a run light. It is currently green. It is a solid green. If it is blinking, it means that it is currently charging or discharging. And then we have these nice state of charge lights that show you your state of charge. They will mostly be green unless you get down to a zero, between zero and 15% charge, at which point the bottom lower quadrant will turn red. And that will tell you that you are in need of charging your battery. With an impressive 82.6 megawatt hours of lifetime production and more than 8,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge, this battery isn't just durable, it's built to last over a decade. Safety is paramount and EG4 takes it seriously. The dual onboard fire arresters offer robust protection against thermal runaway, a critical feature for peace of mind. In case of an emergency, if your inverter features rapid shutdown capabilities, you can integrate an optional RSD ESS disconnect. This addition ensures that the battery's innovative emergency stop function activates smoothly, quickly, and safely, shutting down all connected batteries and inverters. This button is already built into the 18K, making it a perfect match for this battery. For the 6K, visit our previous video for specific wiring configurations on the e-stop button. But in general, that will be wired into your board here on the bottom right where it says RSD. Now, if you're looking to maximize the functionality of your system, the recommended setup includes one EG4 18K PV inverter paired with at least two wall mount units. This configuration ensures you get the most out of the system's capabilities, providing ample power and enhanced efficiency. This setup not only optimizes your energy storage, but also ensures you can handle higher energy demands smoothly, making it a powerful solution for your energy needs. The EG4 wall mount indoor battery is more than just a power source. It's a cornerstone of a sustainable and efficient energy system designed to meet stringent safety standards and certified by UL 1973, UL 9540A, and UL 9540 with the 18 kPV. Whether you're upgrading your home energy system or setting up a new one, the EG4 wall mount indoor battery is an excellent choice that combines cost effectiveness with top tier technology. Thank you for joining us today. If you're interested in this product or any other solar solutions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at SignatureSolar.com. For more products, installations, tips, tricks, and insights into your solar journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll get all the latest information. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe that solar is for everyone. See you next time.